just in case any of you are wondering what I use to uh, lubricate and also clean up old tuning capacitor bearings, I use uh, Hope's number no. 9 oil. It's intended as a gun oil, but it works very well for stuff like this. So I put on a generous amount to uh, all the bearings. I'm dropping it on the ball bearings in there. There's three ball bearings. And then put the tuning dial back on there. You don't need to put them both on. Just put on the, uh, the one you actually turn. And then work the tuning capacitor back and forth a few times. And you'll usually feel it free up a little bit. I already did one round of this off camera, so I got the biggest improvement there. But it is improving a little bit right now. Then take the tuning dial back off once you've got it in the closed position. Take some paper towel and then really press it down into the gap so it's touching the tops of those ball bearings. And then turn it around all the way. And look at all that crap that came out of there. This oil is pretty much clear, and what I'm getting out of there is black with uh, you know, a lot of metal flakes in there. Like if this was the oil coming out of your car, that would not be good. But that's only one side of the bearing. You need to get the other side. So I take paper towel like this, fold it up, and I take like a little hemostat thing, like a little surgical hemostat. I've got a curved one. I grip the paper towel like that. It's held in there. And you've got this uh, you know, bit of it sticking up. And you get underneath here and you scrub the bearing. A little hard to see I know, but get underneath there and scrub the bearing on the underside. Unfortunately you can't get the side of the bearing that's uh, hidden by these plates and be careful not to hit the plates when you're doing that. That's why I was careful with folding this up and, and gripping it so that I'm not hitting any of the metal bits in there with the metal of this thing. Usually two or three rounds of that are enough to free it up most of the way. You're really not going to be able to get everything out of there, but you can get the worst of it out, and that should be enough. Now the other side of it, you should also clean, and it's underneath here. First you need to remove this little brass clip. I'll show you how to do that. So get a small flathead screwdriver, like this one, and then pry up on the end of the clip and slide it over, just like that. Slide it over into this open space and just pull it forward like that and it comes out. Most American transistor radio tuning capacitors are constructed just like this one. The ones that have uh, gear reduction tuning, that is. There's often stuck-on crap here. This one doesn't seem to have any stuck-on gunk. If there is stuck-on gunk, you can use rubbing alcohol or some other solvent to clean it off. This is a solid brass, so you don't really have to worry uh, too much about damaging this with a solvent. And then work it back and forth to work that fresh oil down into the lower bearing and dislodge any crud in there. This is moving pretty nicely now. It could maybe be a little bit looser, but it's pretty good right now. Now you need to get the excess oil out. And depending on space, there's a couple different ways of doing this. Usually what I do is I take a little scrap of paper towel and fold it over like that. And then just get it into that gap there, like that. It's a little hard to do this one-handed. And just slide it back and forth until you've gotten up the excess oil and cleaned up the gunk. I gotta put it down to uh, do that with two hands, but I think you saw enough there. So that bearing wasn't too gross, unlike the upper one. There's not too much junk there. And I got up the excess oil. And you just put this little fork back in the way you got it out. I grip it with the little hemostat. Put it back in there. Again, careful not to bend any of the tuning capacitor plates. And don't lift this thing up too far and just slide it over and it should snap back into place so that's the lower bearing all set now I've now done a total of five cycles of oiling moving the tuning capacitor back and forth and then cleaning it up with paper towels 
The bearings in this tuning capacitor had a lot of gunk in them and a lot of little fine metal flakes. Now the point at which you're done I guess is kind of a personal preference thing. It's going to be very hard to get it to completely stop coming back with you know shades of gray and uh, little metal flakes. By my standards this is good enough. I could do another five of these and still be getting you know some gray on the paper towel. I'm going to do one final little clean here to get the excess up. You can see a little bit of gray is uh, coming off there. And then I'm going to just put a little drop on each of the three bearings. And the center pivot, which seems to be draining down to the uh, bearings when I move it back and forth. I'm going to put the inner tuning dial back on. And if it was dirty, I would uh, clean it up, but it is nice and clean, so I will just maybe give it a little wipe, and that's all. The inside of this is already pretty clean. I'll give that a little wipe just to get out any dust, but it was already pretty clean because I had cleaned this before. I'll pop that back on. Now let's see how smooth it is. Seems pretty smooth to me. Maybe not absolutely perfect, but it looks pretty smooth. Now sometimes these tuning mechanisms will be worn out, unfortunately. They'll have gotten sand in them, or just been used without oil for too many years, and it'll just be worn out. So sometimes when you oil these, you'll actually find that it's slipping significantly, and uh, there isn't really too much you can do about that, unfortunately. It is a a shame when that happens. It's usually something you encounter on high mileage sets. This one seems to have been used a fair bit, but not really abused. And I think there's a good amount of life left in this tuning capacitor. It has a fairly positive uh, end stop there. You can feel a good amount of resistance. So the tuning mechanism is still pretty tight. On some other radios though, you'll run into a tuning mechanism that's quite loose and there's not really this noticeable hard stop at the ends of the tuning. Those are the ones that end up getting too loose sometimes after oiling. But this is, uh, this is nice. I'll call that done. Well, thanks for watching.